meditation is a very sacred practice. People have this perception that they have to go to this $5,000 retreat on the coast of you know, Hawaii, or they have to go to an ashram in India. And I, I want people to realize that it's something very accessible to them. It doesn't require any equipment. You don't need a crystal bowl or gong or incense or anything. I um, woke up one morning and I experienced a complete whiteout. I literally thought I went blind. I was being told by your doctor that you would you know, probably be blind before you're 40. When you have a two-year-old son and you're almost freshly divorced, you know, single mom, uh, is a very, very scary prospect. I just decided I was gonna change my life. So I try to kind of use meditation and mindfulness to be present and to realize that worrying about it is not gonna change the outcome. It's actually probably just gonna make the outcome worse. I was told that I was gonna lose my vision and that the prognosis couldn't have been more wrong because vision is something completely different than, than sight. And I feel like if anything, I've gained more vision in my life as a result of, of my diagnosis. People have this concept that, that I'm gonna climb this mountain and there's gonna be a wise man with a white beard and he's gonna be sitting there, you know, in lotus position and, and he's basically going to tell me these profound things about life and answer all of my questions. I want people to realize that there, there is no such guru, that really, once they go up the mountain, there's going to be a mirror and they're going to see themselves.